Hey, good morning, everybody. I did, I wasn't going to do a live today, but I thought, you know what, I'm just going to have it on um, while I kind of tinker around here in the shed. Um, so this is Brian Young with ProTinkerToys.com, ProTinkerToys.com. Um, let me get my... Uh, Let me get my stand thing set up here. It's a little better when I'm broadcasting because it will uh, go a little higher. And I can kind of just put it out here like this. I got a couple things I got to do. Um, I just thought I would be on for you guys that are just sitting around your office and you thought you'd kind of chat to get together, together today. Well, I tell you, I just uh, I just blew up the internet last night. No, I haven't really, but I would like to one of these days. Because um, I did a video um, about this, this little car that's just got everybody all in a tizzy. This little baby here. That thing has got everybody in a tizzy. <laughs> Which, you know, is great, really. Um, so let's see. Uh, I need to get a blue warrior. If you haven't bought a warrior, they're just a great slot car for the price or for RC car. They're $69. I mean, they're, they're not a, uh, a uh, they are a hobby grade. They're not a Walmart junk. I just, I just had my Jimmy John, Jimmy Dean sandwich this morning. So, um, I am so excited. These are my little, uh, my little racer pins. You turn them. And they turn into a rocket. This one turns into a rocket. I got these for like oh, a ridiculous price. I think I'm going to be selling them for two bucks. I mean, $1.99. This is just a fun little toy for a kid. You know, it's got a pullback motor on it. You know, you pull it back. You know, I just love little trinket toys that are fun for the kids, you know. Boom. And um, I got these little plush dolls. These are really cool, too. I got these um, goal goal kick. This is a football kind of two back pull a uh, pullback cars. You pull them back, you know, and then you have a little race. You know, just a little fun thing. You know, maybe you're at your hotel. This is something fun. And then I got some more girl stuff, just fun little stuff. These are cute little. They're called uh, pink fogged, pink fogged. This one's a little bear. And this one is. Oh my God. Uh, well, I think I've had COVID already, but I already had it. I had it back in December. Did anybody, did I ever tell the guy the story about COVID and how I brought it back? So I got these at a really good price. And I just thought. You know, these would be great for the new store. Kids come in, they see these little things. Maybe they just want to get one and go to bed with it. Okay, anyways. All right. All right, let me go upstairs. I got to get a, I've got to go to, I've got to get an 1866 rifle. My most popular rifle. I don't know why. I know why it is because it's just a beautiful gun. And it's die cast and metal. Die cast and wood combined. So this is my upstairs. Okay. And holy cow, I sold an entire box. Look at this. I've sold two entire cases of the 1866 rifle. Unbelievable. And I bought, you know, it's a good thing I bought. I bought these uh, right before the pandemic, I think. Good thing I have these in stock because these are hard to get a hold of. 
So I sold an 1866, which is this baby here. I think the people like it is because of the gold. I mean, this is just a, it's just fun for kids. Gosh. Oh. All right. And then I need a warrior, a blue one. Now, let's see if this is a blue one. That's a red one. I need a blue warrior. Let's see if I can find a blue warrior that I've already changed out the servo. Because I have to do the servos on the warriors. What color is this one? The red. Boy, I've sold a lot of these. <gasps> Holy cow. I don't have any in here. I got to go out in the sea container and get another red one. Holy moly. Well, you know what that means is I got to... I got to do a bunch of cars. What do I do with the gun? I tell you, sometimes I think I'm losing my mind. No, actually, I think I've lost my mind. I think I got the sniffles. There must have been a... There it is, right in front of me. What a nutcase. So that's the golden rifle. 18, 1866. My brother and I, we were watching uh, the good... Uh, Hang 'em High with Clint Eastwood. If you haven't watched Hang 'em High, uh, let me um, let me go get a coat on. It's not super cold, but you know what? This type of weather, you can get a cold real fast. Let me go out in the sea container and get me a warrior. You guys can come on with me. I think what I'm going to do in the vault is I'm just going to fill it with cars. Oh, and hey, somebody came up with a comment. The sh uh, a bank full of toy guns. <laughs> Doesn't that sound funny? A bank with toy guns. All right, I'm in my seat container. Let me set this up here. Doesn't fall over. Ah! A warrior. I need a warrior. A blue warrior. That's a red one. And of course, it doesn't want to come out. Come on. Come on, you lion dog pony soldier. Now, why does this want to come out? You know why it doesn't want to come out? Because I want it to come out. That's why. There we go. Red. There's two. There's a blue. I got to do a bunch of these. There's two colors of each. There's two blues and two yellow or reds. I like an orange in every case. And uh, these are really nice uh, RC cars for the dollar. For the dollar. And my. My stand broke for my holder for my phone. I like this tripod because I can just I can move around, sit it here, and you guys can watch what I'm doing. Um, oh, there's so many things to do, guys, to open this store. Uh, I, I'm, I'm surprised I'm not going crazy. 
All right, you know what? Let's do, let's do, let's have some fun. Um, uh, let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and uh, change this servo in this car. I think people like what when I'm doing this. How many people like when I'm changing the servo? Everybody like when I'm changing the servo? Oh, and this is another RC car. I got these at a, another closeout price. Well, actually, I didn't get a close on them yet, but they've got they're offering them to me as a closeout. And and you don't have <laughs> you don't want to offer me something in a closeout. Because I I I am a sucker for a closeout. I'm a sucker to buy it, but I'm not a sucker that it won't sell. Okay, so these are basically by uh, California, either California, they're called Insane Stunt Car. Insane Stunt Car. And they're just a crazy RC car. I'll show you what they do here. And they just, you know, they're a fast charge up. I'm gonna set this like this because I'm gonna change this around when I'm when I'm doing the uh, um. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you, Dawson? I couldn't be better today. Actually, I'm actually I'm in a very good mood today. Okay, so these are the RC cars. They're really cool. They can either go, but you can go really weird. Oh gosh. Ow. Darn it. They're really cool. They kind of, they're very durable. Double direction. They're just a fun RC car. That, that, that's all there is to it. I, I don't know how to explain it other than it's just a fun, quick RC car. We'll be ha doing a video on these pretty soon. This is my new box size. I'm having to buy different boxes. It's unbelievable. Right. The things that I have to do to open this store is just, my mind is actually just, going a mile a minute okay so let's do a warrior here make sure i'm in a good location yeah you guys can see me all right okay so what i have to do is because these warriors i bought these in a closed out and the reason i bought them in a closed out is because um the servos the pinion gear that's on the motor it cracked and so therefore the servo don't the the if you have a cracked pinion, your servo does nothing because a servo basically does what? What does a servo do? It, it's basically just a, kind of like a mechanized arm, okay? And so if the, if the motor's not moving, let's get everything cut because I need to take the car out and I need my pincher tools which are very important. Let me go get those right here. Okay, so here's a tool that everybody should buy, and I'm going to sell these at Pro Tinker Toys. They're called a crimper. Basically, they take off flack on plastic model kits, but you should have one of these in your toolkit, one of these little tools. Okay, because basically you can crimp off little... Um, I got to crimp off the bandit things holding this car down. All right, because I got to take this car off of the case out of the here because I got to do a I got to do a service manual on this. Okay, so what we're gonna set that here? I'm gonna use this box to put the car on like that because I got to test out the servo and everything. All right, so we're gonna put this here now. Uh, uh, okay, let's see, motor. All right, so about nine, nine out of ten or eight out of ten of, the, of these cars, the servo is bad. And that's why I have to replace them for the customer. And these are the brand new servos. They're a brand new servo. Now, I could just stick it in the box and just tell people to, you know, to change your own servo. But, you know, why would you do that? All right, so we're just going to test it real quick to see if it is a bad servo. All right, guys. So we're going to turn it on. Now, that battery might be dead. 
Matter of fact, all these batteries are probably dead. Because the batteries you get in the kit. Yep, won't turn. See what? Listen. You hear that? It won't turn. Now, I'll show you what happens with a good servo. So let's cut this servo open here. And we'll unplug this. And I'll plug in a good servo. I think I'll get a good battery. A lot of times these batteries are bad. Bad battery. I'll be right back, guys. I'm coming over here. I got to go over here and get me a good battery. The batteries that are in the, the cars, they need to be replaced. Um, because they've been sitting a while. And you want a good battery. And I do sell batteries, so... Perfect. Listen. You hear that? How it's moving back and forth. All right. So now the next thing we do is we have to take this servo off the body. Now I got to find my screwdriver. I have a special screwdriver, which I love this screwdriver, this Phillips. And of course I can't find it, which is part of the core. I mean, I never can find the real toys tools that I like. All right, so we're going to unscrew this servo. It's very a it's very simple job. You know, most of your uh, if you're a tech guy, I mean, you could do this in ten minutes, and and we're going to do this in ten minutes. It's not a complicated feature. You're all you're doing is you're removing the servo. You're basically taking off the. Uh, um, There's two ways to do it. Either I can take off the entire base plate, which I don't normally like to do, but I find out, I end up finding it's actually quicker to do that because you can't really get your fingers into um, where the servo is uh, or where the screws are. But if I take off the base plate, it actually works better. Okay, so the next thing I do Next thing I do, I have to take off the the armature. To see, this this basically goes back and forth, which is basically what uh, makes the car go left or right. All right, so I basically just have to unscrew this screw here. Uh, welcome, come. Thank you for coming to ProTinkerToys.com. This is a, a tech video. Just well, no, it's not. It's shipping with Brian. I'm going to do some shipping here in a minute, but I got to ship this out to a customer, and obviously. All right, so we've already put this guy in. So now I have to put this here. So this is the new servo. And we're going to put in the control arm. Controlling arm. And I'll show you what it, how it's supposed to operate. How it's supposed to correctly operate. Okay, now watch. Let me bring this over here a little closer so you guys can have a fun view, okay? All right, so let's put this down just a little. All right, you see, now watch the arm. Watch the arm when I turn this. See that, how it moves nice and smoothly? You're gonna have a, and you, we'll show you here when I get the thing back on. This will be running really nice when I get it all put back together. All right? Okay, now. Now, the next part is putting this thing back on without the, uh, see, if I had a good, if I had a good screwdriver with a, with a magnet on it, which I have, and I can't find it right now, and you guys don't like when I get upset and I look for things, so, um, well, you know what, I'm going to look for, because it's, 
Why not? You guys are watching me for comedy, so let's put some comedy into this. All right, I had it over here. I had it on this table here. But did I have it over here? Here's my mess table. This was all cleaned off yesterday, and now it's all dirty again. I'm telling you, I'm probably the most unorganized person on earth. It's not there. It was right here. There it is. There it is. Found it. Found it. Found it right here. This is it, baby. This is my favorite screwdriver. It's the right size, the right tip, everything. El Camino Real. Yes, sir, Bob. That's it right there. See that tip? See that tip? They're called uh, Wella. Wella. I think it's a German company. All right, so let's take one of these screws. Of course, it's not. Usually you can go like this to become get magnetized. All righty. Now I'll put this one in here. Usually if I can get one in there, then the other ones will go in easily too. But the hard part, there there really is no hard part of doing this. The only I guess the only hard part is this right here, screwing it back in, which normally you gotta pop that back on. Now watch. See that in that sweet? Okay. Now, there's one problem that I can see. And that's because I didn't have a very good screwdriver when I put the servo on. Is that I don't have this thing all the way in. See how loose it is a little bit? Now, I could have been lazy and just sent it the way it is. But... If you're going to do a job, do a job work. Yeah, see, that's nice and tight. You want it nice and tight so that when he turns for going different directions. Okay, now this is normally a $169 car. Oh, $200. A $200 car. Of course, I drive the screw, and the screw goes under here. for 60 I'm selling it for $69. I mean, that's what you would pay at a Walmart for their Walmart brand. And this is 10 times better than a Walmart brand. Plus, I have all the parts to these cars. So if you break like a linkage spring here or you need a new one, I've got hundreds of them. Hundreds of them. And that's the key. The key is parts. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I dropped another screw. I don't, well, screws don't like me very much. Okay. See, this is where you got small fingers. I got to get into this and turn this. So far, I'm doing pretty good. What do you think, guys? How are we doing here? Let me look at some of the comments. Uh, uh, test it first. That was the, uh, the last one wasn't broken. Just uh, through the servo in the tr box. Yes. All right. So... Oh, you must have bought one of these, Dawson. These are really nice cars for the price. Don't forget to like, share, hit the notification bell, because the more people hit the notification bell, the more people that chat, uh, the more uh, people that uh, uh, Google passes my, or YouTube passes my video to other people, okay? All right, so we've got everything, we've got everything mounted correctly. So let's see. Be sure to center the servo, otherwise the wheels will never, never center. Great screwdriver. Yes, you're right. Okay, so you know what? He's right about that. But you know what? I'm going to do it the easy way this time. I'm going to take these two screws out. 
And he's right. I got to move over that servo just a little bit so that when you center it, because the customer will never get this thing centered. Thank you very much, Dawson, for your, uh, your opinion, because you see how that servo's over to the left a little bit? You see how it's over here? Well, it's never centering itself. So I'm going to move it over to the right a little bit so that it will center the, uh, like that. See, I'm going to put it over here a little bit. Now that will center the, the, uh, um, the tires more. Thanks a lot there, Dawson, if that was you. All right. Okay, now we'll pop that back on. We'll put that back here like this. We'll see where it is. Okay, now see how it's a little more centered? How are we doing there? See that? See how it's more centered? You're well. Oh, Dan. Dan said that. Thanks, Dan. 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 The Dan. Dan. The rubber band man. Okay, so you see how now it's a little more centered? Well, I got to hold my hand down if this is going to work right. <laughs> All right, now watch. But you notice how the wheels are centered. Now watch when I do the, 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 the tweaking thing. See, I can have it either go that way, and now it will go kind of more center. It'll turn to the right a little bit, but we, we, we want to be just a little bit there. Okay, now. Now we're in the last phases of our uh, retrofit. So when the customer gets this, he will be extreme, extremely happy because he bought something from ProTinkerToys.com. ProTinkerToys.com. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell button, and comment. All right. So now... Here's the old servo. Like I said, I don't know if I showed you if you saw this last time. I'll show you the part that I wish someone could get these or make these for me. I could send this. It's very easy to fix. If, if, if I could get the, the little pinion, it's a little pinion gear. I'll show you here. So this is the inside of a servo. So basically a servo just has a motor in it. And, and the motor is turning left or right. And so that's basically what... That's what your arm is. It's just a wrist. You know, it's your, your, your gears are right here, but your, your blood and your, your, your tissue and your, and your, um, uh, uh, nerve, uh, nerve, not the nerves, uh, the veins, uh, what do you call it? Uh, not the nerves. Uh, what's that stretchy stuff that's on our skin? Uh, it's, it's allowing us to, to have movement. Okay, so here's the part that is bad on these things. You see that little tiny pinion gear right there? It's cracked. You can't you can, you might be able to see it. Let me see if I can get closer. You see how it's cracked right there? Well, it's not turning the motor. The motor turns, but this this pinion gear, see it just spins freely like that. If I could get that part, I could fix all these servos. That's what's real sad about it. But that's the servo. That's what a servo is. The new ones are a lot more uh, micro. They, they've gotten better on them. All right. So we got that. Four-wheel drive. Awesome. All finished. So we have now a perfect car. Now the, mo the battery will last, oh, maybe about a week. You might get about four or five runs out of it. I'd just buy another battery on my line. I have online. I have them. I have good prices on batteries. You can get them anywhere, not just me. I mean, you can buy in bulk. You can buy six at a time, seven at a time, half a dozen at a time, 17,452-1-7198-84726. Okay, so I'm having problems with Shopify. It's almost a week now that they've their website shipping is all screwed up. I, I don't know how a company, uh, I mean, this is a national company, how they've got, they don't have tech guys trying to fix this problem like right now. But I can't do any, 
I can. Uh, so I negotiated with, uh, cause I can't print UPS. So I called UPS and, uh, Pedro, my, my sales rep, I said, you know, cause he called me a couple of, Hey Brian, um, uh, you know, cause he's got me into, he got me good rates with, with, with UPS and he called, Hey Brian, are you using another, uh, UPS account? We've got you as another UPS. Well, yeah, Pedro, I have uh, Shopify. I buy stuff from Shopify and they have UPS already built in their system. Well, he called me yesterday and negotiated me a really good deal. I think my shipping is going to be even cheaper than Shopify. Uh, and and one of it is SurePost. SurePost is uh, UPS gets it to the destination. They drop it off at the post office. Then the post office delivers it to your house. So they, they've kind of negotiated a price where they do the long trip. And then US, the U.S. Postal Service does the short trip. If that that's in a nutshell. And to me, it's an ingenious idea. That's the problem with the postal services is because they're under the government, which the government does nothing correct. They, they are a bloated bureaucracy. That's why the postal system always lose money. And it's not supposed to be just so you know. All right. So I'm just giving you a little history. there. All right. So we've got that already. I need to get one more bandit uh, tie, tie strap to tie down the car to tie down the car so it doesn't flop around in shipping you know i want to make sure my customers are happy with what they get when they buy it from me now not that i'm i'm 100% perfect all the time because i am not okay so we're going to band this down there we go that's banded down the car is all ready. We got the instructions. Put that in here. I've got the servo. Let's tape that shut. Okay, now I need my label. What label, Brian? What are you talking label? Well, well, here's what I do, okay? Now, I just printed about 50 of these things because... Uh, and I thought I'd put them over here. See, I'm losing things again. It's never happened. It always happens this way. All right. So, um, yeah. So, here's the situation. I'm always losing something, misplacing something, and I hardly ever know where anything ever is. Now, why that is, I have no idea. Let's see what people have been saying. Uh, howdy. Hi, Joe. Howdy, Dan. Can we talk about uh, your line of work? Hey, just just called the streaming streaming adjustment. You're welcome, Dan. We got Dan. That's Harry DeLong, Thomas, Adam, Dawson. Boy, all these people. Holy cow! And Vic, Victorus, Vic, Vintus, Vintus. Is that how you pronounce that name? All right. So what I have is right here. They are. So I have these little labels that I print up. It says right here, it says. So it says right here, this is what I put on all my cars. I'll show you in a second. All right. So we're finished with the car. So we're going to put it back in the box. Now, why is that not going in there? Well, Brian, you know, if anything goes correct with you, that would be a surprise. So let's just get that straightened out right now. And the reason that is happening because you got to take off the flap at this end so that the, the uh, car will come in at the other end. All righty. Now let's get this put together nice and. All righty. Here we go.
Now, what I do is I make these labels right here. They say, Dear Customer, this IMX RC car has been tested, date, has been tested before shipped to you. So you guys are witnesses that I tested this car on 10, what is it, 13, 20, yeah, 10, 13, or 14, it doesn't really matter. And I put it right here on the end of the box. So when they open it, when they open it, they know that it's been tested. All right? Because they don't take returns on RC stuff. I will help you fix it. I'll help you get things going. We got 10 likes. That's great. But I don't take any returns. It's just you can't. Uh, can I explain? Can I tell you why the RC or the slot car companies went out of business, Aurora? Do you know why Aurora went out of business? Do you have any idea? Anybody come want to come up with an idea? How about Tommy? Do you know why Tommy initially went out of business with the Tommy AFX and why they're under race masters? Do you know why? Returns. You can't have nearly what nearly 300,000 sets were returned from dis department stores back in the 80s and 90s because either customers had it for a day or two, took it back, or they just took it back. You cannot, I don't care what retailer, you, you, this is the problem with retail is they need to put their foot down, but nobody wants to because they don't have a spine. You need to tell customers, listen, if you bought something, especially electronics, if you open it, it's yours. Now, we if it's broken, you know, because of a, a, a legitimately broken, then yeah, we'll we'll replace it, okay, or we will send you the parts through the retail manufacturer. But nobody wants to do that. Costco is the worst for that. I did a demo for Costco. I did. Um, uh, Back in 2009, I went to Texas for the month and I did demonstrate, you know, the demonstrators at Costco. Well, I did demonstrations, SCX digital and SCX compact. We sold a ton of sets. You see this warehouse, you see this workshop right here. Okay. You see how big it is. I had two tables right here. I had one here and one right here, kind of same as it's set up right now. But I didn't have a lot of stuff over there. Okay, so when I got back from Texas, because they were doing this demonstration all over the United States at, at Costco's, because Costco has a no questions return policy. Well, you know what happened? I got back after, at the end of November, and this workshop was filled with returns. I got nearly a hundred compact sets returned and, and it hadn't even been a month since people had these things and they already sent them back. You can't stay in. And that's why I don't uh, uh, send me 30, uh, a 30 second video. Oh, wait a minute. I don't know what you just said there. What did you just say? Hold on a second. Send me a 30 second video virtually going over the Bel Air and how you're going to, how it's an exclusive. Okay. He wants me to do an exclusive or a video on the Bel Air. So I'm going to, when I get done here, I got to do a video on the Bel Air. Or do you want me to just do 30 seconds right now? You want me to do 30 seconds right now? I'll wait for his response. And my son. Okay. And so. I've sold about 200 and uh, about 250 sets so far. Almost 0% returns. I might have had two sets actually come back here. About four sets, either bad hand throws, bad cars, or a bad terminal track. I don't take returns back, number one. But when you're buying it, you should know that there is more than just setting it up. It's fun. It's, it's interactive. You you build on it, you you twink it, you do type different things to it, okay? That's why uh, Tommy Aurora went out of business. I'll tell you that right now. You cannot sustain those type of returns and be profitable. It's impossible, physically impossible. You just can't do it. 
you can't be selling off. Let's say you can't be selling a thousand sets and get a thousand sets back and be in prop in, in, in business. You, it's impossible. And that's what happened back in Aurora. Now, some of these Aurora enthusiasts and guys that, that know everything, they'll say, Oh, Brian's crazy. You don't know. No, I'm not. I'm not crazy. I know, I know some inside information that nobody knows. Okay. And this just experience being in the industry for 20 years. How many of these experts of slot cars have been in the business for 20 years, selling slot cars for the last 20 years? I get a lot of information, okay? And I'm a lot of crazy, too. Even at Irwin Toy Days, we didn't have a lot of returns, but, you know, you get returns. You don't want returns. And that's what kills it. Even with... Even when we were selling compact at Target, we sold nearly, uh, what, uh, 300,000 sets, I think. And that's a great a number because people are still calling me because they have that those sets from 2009, 10, 9, 10, 11. All right. Well, I think my son wants to do me do a 30-second clip on... The Bel Air. So, is that what you want me to do, Ryan? A, a thirty-second part part of this video, thirty seconds, explaining the Bel Air. Hmm. Good day, Quincy. Good day. Your, what's your opinion on the Royal Mail? The Royal Mail? What? The, you mean shipping stuff to England? If that's what you mean? Now it takes 30 seconds for him to get this. So this is going all the way to England. This is what I think is amazing. So my comments now are going to him in England. England is what? Maybe 4,000 miles away? 3,000 miles away? So it's going all the way to England. My words are live. He's sitting in his computer somewhere in England. Okay. And, and now he's going to respond back to me within two minutes. So um, while we wait for uh, Quincy from, I think, England, we will explain the exclusive car that I am doing from Auto World. All right. And I'm going to put the camera right here. Let me drop it down. I got to put this right in the middle so I can, can literally be talking about the car and be showing you the car at the same time, which is really cool. Okay, so people have been asking my son. This is the... the um, the Bel Air, um, the 1955 Bel Air. Hold on, let me get my glasses so I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> it's almost 12 o'clock. I have to get off too at 12. Can you believe this, guys? Now, where are my black glasses? <sighs> there. I've got 15 minutes to do this. Oh, brother. Okay, so let's see. Has Quincy come back with us yet? Royal Mail. Okay, so this is the 1955 Bel Air, yellow stripes with red at the end. Uh, we're going to be doing this in black. Initially, here's the story of this car. So I guess they went ahead and made this car because they, Auto World, I wanted to get done the black, the black uh, Bel Air, completely black. Solid black, no silver, no nothing, with a yellow flame on it, all right? And so, um, not yet. NSR competition, not yet. Slot cars, not yet. Um, and so they ended up making these cars for me by mistake. And they, and they said, you don't have to take these. I said, well, yeah, I'll take them. Am I going to be the only one having them? Yeah, you're the only one that's going to be having them. So I basically have brought these in only for me. These are 1955 Bel Air. 
I'm going to do this very slowly so you guys can enjoy this video in slow motion. Because I know last night, my one last night was very jerky. White headlights. It's a blue metallic kind of like. It's got a... Uh, Five L I T five, it looks like, and it's on a extraction chassis. This is the chassis. It's an extraction chassis, black. Okay, where it's got your springs, your guide blades. Round two, two thousand six. That's when the chassis are made, and this is the body. XTD06 1950 what's that 1956 Chevy under license 1955 Chevy under license and that's the uh, the uh, vent hood you got your uh um, pipes. Do you know how I did that? I was drilling a whole a screw into a, and it drilled right into my finger. If you ever want to have pain, uh, don't drill into your thumb because it was extremely painful. I did that nearly, basically, I did that back in 1996. I was opening up Rarities, Gifts, and Collectibles. I remember it. I was drilling in a piece of slot wall. Had my hand down, and I went, and it slipped. and dry. Oh. Okay, so this is the Bel Air, 1955 Bel Air. This is exclusively to ProTinkerToys.com. You can't find these anywhere else. Um, now, there, not, there might have been a release of this a long time ago. Back in 2006, maybe. But I'm the only one that has this assortment. Because they made a mistake on my car. But either or, I, I mean, I'm the only one that owns these right here. I, um, And I have a good quantity. I offer them. You can get it at Pro Ticket Toys. You can buy one at a time for 27 you can buy four for 95 or 10 for 195 and that's a great price. And the reason I'm doing that is for dealers. I'm giving them a little bit of discounts where they can make some margin. Um, and um, I'm just trying to give people a, uh, a break so that if they go to trade shows or swap meets and they want to get these at a better price so they can make a little bit of money. You know, that's why I'm offering it in two different prices. But so this is the 1955 Bel Air. That's funny here. The camera is not in the middle. I'm right in the. Oh, here it's the camera right here. I wonder why it doesn't focus that close. I thought these cameras were supposed to focus really good. I suppose that's pretty good right there. Doesn't that look cool, guys? Hmm. Like this one here. Check that out. 1956 Ford. Or 1956 Ford F100. The American flags on it. <laughs> oh, I'm just being funny. And this is another car we have an exclusive on. I bought a bunch of these. I have a bunch of these. So if you're looking for Cudas, we're going to be offering these in volume discount also. This says Goodyear on it. Those look great. How many of those have been produced or how many are you getting? Well, I don't want to, I would rather not tell you exactly how many I'm getting, but let's put it this way. There are 320 million Americans, okay? 
let's say that we just got 10% of those into slot cars. That's 30 million. Let's say only 10% of those 30 million really would buy a slot car. All right. Well, that's 3 million. Um, let's say that just uh, 1% of those 3 million, which is 300,000, would get into slot cars. Let's say that just, or would buy it, but let's say that there was only uh, 1% of those 300,000, which is 3,000 people. If I could just get, and, and I, I, don't, I didn't order 3,000, okay? I, I'm just trying to give you numbers of, of how many people there are in the U.S. and and you're looking at millions that you would need to to even begin to saturate for 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 this hobby to be super hobby where everybody is buying it constantly you would need me to make 3 million of these available to Americans and that's not even a high number <laughs> i hate to tell you but this is the 55 bel air baby and this is sweet, man. So, you want me to go around in it? Okay, let's go around in it here. Um, let's get this off the track. Put that here. Put this here. Let's go up a little bit. Let's see here. Oh, flip that, baby. Boy, Brian, don't you know how to drive? Boy, I rolled it too. Isn't that sweet, guys? How many are excited? How many are excited with me? Isn't that cool? Look at that baby go. I can't believe I've been on an hour already. Look at that. Isn't that sweet? So that is the 50 i Bel Air, and this is the Cuda. We have those in bulk also. Now, why has that happened? Something is hitting something here. Here comes the Cuda. Here comes the Cuda. Here comes the Barracuda. 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 You like my uh, singing there? Barracuda, Barracuda, here we come around the corner. Barracuda, sing is king. Matt, thank you for joining. Matt, thank you for sending a comment. And this is Brian Young with ProTicketToys.com. ProTicketToys.com. This is our awesome layout that we are constantly adding to. Barracuda, Joe, thank you very much for commenting, Joe. I I had a 1967 slant Barracuda. Maybe it was a 68. I thought it was a 67. A Barracuda slant six. Got 50 miles to the gallon. It was an awesome car. And then the government got involved and cars became junk. Uh, half the stuff we drive nowadays might be safer in the way of uh, looks, but... 
uh, they're not safer to be in. They're basically tin can. Barracuda! Barracuda! Are you going to have a barracuda? Barracuda! Barracuda! How you like my singing, huh? Barracuda, I'm, I'm going to offer these in a set, guys. I'm going to make up a special set with these two cars, Barracuda and the Bel Air. It's going to be a uh, figure eight set. Um, just a basic small little set that you can add to later. Um, and I'm going to be offering this, and I'll be listing this probably by tomorrow. It's going to be the Bel Air and the Barracuda. Barracuda! Put your hands in the air for Barracuda! <laughs> you guys are crazy! Barracuda! <laughs> yeah. I had a 1965 Ford Mustang. Here is a, um, a Cougar. It's a really cool Cougar. Ah, well, guys, I've got to feed my kids. Yes, it is. It's lunchtime. i got to feed my kids. How do you like my new glasses? These are my reading glasses. Thank you very much. I've got to feed my children. I want to thank you for watching me this morning. We've got 12 views. Nah, you know, we're growing little by little. We've got 11 comments. If we get one more positive comment, thumbs up, I'll, I'll click off. So um, they, they're loving Mark. Matt, uh, they're loving Mark. One more thumbs up. We need one more thumbs up. So I just give one more thumbs up and I'll sign off. So we got, there we go. We've got the cheers, Brian's Joe. Thank you very much. Oh, we went down one. Ah, uh, you got to be kidding. How can we go down one? That means somebody give me. Th oh, you know what it was? I know why. One more Barracuda. Barracuda! Barracuda! I know why. I know why we didn't get one because somebody saw my Trump sign. I'm sorry. Well, I'm not sorry. That's just, I wouldn't be upset with you if you had a. Obama, if you weren't promoting it or or flaunting it or not, I'm just you know it's just fun. This is history. I'm just playing history. I got a, I got a, uh, uh, I got a Biden sign over here. Here's the Biden sign. Here, I'll put a Biden sign right there for you. There you go. See there, right here. There you go. See there. You everybody now. I'm I'm for everybody. How's that? Biden. There you go. Thumbs up. Fourteen. Look at that. We got fourteen. <laughs> Oh, look at that. We've got both signs there, Trump and Biden. I'm being politically correct. You know, I know there's probably some Biden signs out there. No Bidens. No, no Biden. No, don't say that. Don't say that. I'm going to get, I'm going to lose. Oh, we got 15 likes. Look at that, everybody. Okay. Well, I want to thank everybody for watching. Uh, I might be doing a live tomorrow. Um. I had fun today. I like when I do it just kind of off the cuff. I really had fun today doing this for you guys. Um, and I want to thank you for watching my live stream. Don't forget to support the store, ProTinkerToys.com. That's how we keep on doing this, uh, ProTinkerToys.com. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification button. Please don't go, Mark. I'm not Mark. I'm Brian. My name is Brian. Barracuda! <laughs> you guys are crazy. Um, but, um, I got to go in and feed lunch for the kids. <sighs> I know what somebody's going to say. Oh my gosh. Uh, do you want me to show you what I make the kids for lunch? <laughs> Please. Barracuda! Hey, uh oh, phone. Hey, what's the phone? Barracuda! Potinkertoys. Hey. Uh, no, I have not. I've got to get the mail. I haven't got the mail today yet. I'll let me go down. I will. I'll call you when I get it. Okay. Okay. So, um, Barracuda.
You want me to show you what I make the kids for lunch? I can't see the screen. No more Brian. That's because I was off screen like right here. Okay. Oh, oh, brother. 16 likes. Now we got 16, but we only have Brian come back. Brian, you guys are crazy. You really are. No, I can't. I can't. Uh, I don't want to exploit my children on camera. Of course, David wouldn't mind. Frankie is a ham anyways. Let's see. Yes, let's see lunch cam. <laughs> okay. All right. Give me a break here. Give me a minute here. All right. I don't I don't do I just I don't believe I'm doing this. Ah, this is fun. You know what the heck? What could I do? I could just be uh um I'll do this real quick and then I'll get off. So what I do is I make lunch for my wife. My wife is a teacher online, Ohio Virtual Academy, and then at noon. I come in and make the kids lunches. Usually it's a bologna sandwich, but today I'm just going to do peanut butter and peanut butter jelly sandwiches. And uh, all right, so uh, got to get some bread out here. One, two, three sandwiches. All right, so that's the bread. Now we need the jelly. We do this in volume. Jelly, Schmucker's strawberry jelly. You can't beat from a, uh, a peanut butter jelly sandwich. I don't know why so many kids, I know why people have allergies with peanuts because they don't have an immune system. And that's exactly, you don't want to get me going on the immune system. And we're going to have a problem with the immune system in a couple months because all these kids haven't been playing in the dirt. Well, actually they have, they've been outside all summer long and playing with their friends. And then they were told they can't go to school because they weren't social, or they they had social distance when they weren't social distancing all summer. Okay, so let's bring this over here. All right. So we're gonna have three three sandwiches. One, two, three. Frankie, will you put that away right now? Thank you. Okay, so we got three sandwiches. We need to get three cups of milk. And then uh, I have this really cute apple cutter. Mm, da -da -da. I bought this at Sam's about 10 years ago. It really is pretty awesome. You can put an apple in there like that. and Look at that. <laughs> You guys better be eating these apples. Okay, now with David, David doesn't like apples, so I give him apple sauce. Apple sauce. And we give him some chips. Lay's potato chips. How many watched my uh, How many watched my video on uh, making um, stir fry? <laughs> oh gosh. All right. Here is milk. 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 Turn the lights on. Turn the light on. All right, come get your meal. Hurry up. Let's go. Let's go. Grab one. Let's go. Hut, 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 hut. That's because I'm I do things efficiently. Get your milk. David and Missy or Frankie, your milk. 
Don't forget to pray. Okay. And uh, that's how I make lunch. <laughs> All right, guys. Okay, that's my job. That's my function for the day. Because she doesn't have to get out of her office when she's uh, for making lunches. So when I'm around, I make the lunches so uh, she doesn't have to. We, we keep the kids home because... Telling people are getting out, people are getting headache because they're dream. I could tell you that. I, I don't even need, see, this is what's, uh, okay, so I'm going to end up with this. Um, this is what's so funny. I was on, you see this right here? You know what that says? U.S. Submarine Service, veteran. I was a qualified submariner. Okay. We need to we need to grill with the next. Oh, I'll do a video on, on my uh, grilled cheese sandwiches. Oh, I, I'm the grass at grilled cheese. All right. So, anyways, the number one toxic gas on a submarine is carbon dioxide. It's the it is it is the worst gas on a submarine. You can die. It doesn't make any sense. But that's my opinion. Um, and now doctors and uh, now now all these doctors from Cambridge and all these other are, are finally saying that wearing masks are da is dangerous. You could actually die from wearing a mask. <laughs> Go figure that one out. So uh, that's me making lunch. The Bel Air. I'm I got a car all ready to ship for people. Uh, we've got 16 likes. We only have 10 people viewing. Barracuda, Barracuda, Barracuda. I did have one experience. Matter of fact, I do have a video of it. Uh, when we were pulling out of, uh, we would, we would pull out of uh, Holy Lock, Scotland, and go past um, England to go to our alert place. We had dolphins that would swim above our sub. They would follow us, and they'd, they'd. Shoo, shoo, shoo. It was really cool, actually. They're not, do I don't think they were dolphins, they were por porpoises. There's two types of, of dolphins. There's dolphins and porpoises, I think. And those are more north. They're more colder, uh, I think, um, um, uh, porpoise or dolphin. Anyways, I don't want to bore you about that. I've got to get off now. I've got things i got to do. Uh, and... Um, you just want to thank everybody. We'll see you tomorrow, probably about 1030. I think I might start at 1030. So I'll go ahead and set something up here in the next 30 minutes about my tomorrow show. Barracuda! 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 Barracuda!